Marine Cates. Thank you, Madam Chair. And can I congratulate my honourable friend, the member for South Cambridgeshire, for securing such a, an important debate. And can I start by welcoming the announcements made in the Net Zero strategy yesterday that set out the UK's plan for carbon capture and storage. And I'm delighted, as well as my honourable friend, the member for Hartlepool, that the East Coast cluster has been chosen as a track one cluster that will benefit from the government's carbon capture storage infrastructure funds over the coming years. And also to pass on my congratulations to the AMRC in Sheffield, who are a partner uh, in that bid. Um, the UK has committed to net zero by 2050, and we've become the first major economy in the world to pass legislation to reach such a target. And the government is absolutely right that we can't achieve this target by emissions reductions alone, so carbon capture and storage is vital to reducing our net output uh, of greenhouse gases. This is because it's simply impossible for many of our major industries to eliminate carbon emissions with current technology and, and energy use. The Humber region is one of our most important industrial areas, uh, but emits 12.4 megatons of carbon a year, which is 40% of the UK's industrial emissions. These industries are vital to our economy and our security, as well as jobs and livelihoods. And while, of course, the government should support and encourage industries like steel, for example, to reduce emissions, we have to be realistic about what is achievable. That's why projects like Zero Carbon Humber are so important and it has the potential to absorb 50% of the industrial cluster's carbon dioxide emissions. It's a brilliant opportunity for UK industry and with government investment, the commercial barriers to using our geological reservoirs for carbon storage can now be overcome. In addition, the deployment of carbon capture and storage can deliver support for tens of thousands of new jobs, as many honourable members have said. This isn't just good news for existing industries, it also offers huge potential for new ones. One of the key requirements for reaching net zero is to reduce our reliance on petrol and diesel cars and increase the use of electric vehicles. And it's good news that a billion pounds of investment has been made in Nissan's plant in Sunderland, which aims to produce new generation all-electric vehicles in the not-too-distant future. But as things stand, we do not have the capability to produce all the components of electric vehicle batteries here in the UK, making us reliant on other countries, particularly China and the US, for elements of the manufacturing process. Not only is this a supply chain risk, it also means we're missing out on the opportunity to add an enormous amount of value here in the UK. James Durrans and Sons, which is a brilliant carbon engineering business in my constituency of Penison and Stocksbridge, have a long history of cutting edge manufacturing and success all over the world. And this company has ambitions to develop a new facility for high temperature graphitization, which would enable the UK to produce 30,000 tonnes of anode grade synthetic graphite a year for electric car batteries. And Europe's only producer of needle coke, which is the starting material, is the P66 plant on the Humber, but we currently sell it abroad for graphitization and re import it for seven or eight times the value. If James Durrans and Sons is successful, and I urge the Minister to pursue government support for this important investment, we could complete the EV battery production process here in the UK, securing our supply chain and, of course, adding value and creating jobs. But like many high-carbon-based industries, the project relies on the ability to capture and store the greenhouse gases produced, and that's why it's such good news for James Durrans and Sons and many other innovative companies that carbon capture is now a realistic prospect in the short term. And so, as my honourable friend has said, a science-based approach to carbon capture must be taken. Uh, so I'm delighted the government has signalled such strong support for this. It's great news for our industries. It's great news for net zero. We now move to the front.